10 Worst Movie Mistakes That Slip Through Editing Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Screeny. Studios invest millions of dollars and countless hours into their next big hit. But despite the best efforts of everyone involved, no movie is ever perfect. What we end up seeing is just a tiny part of everything that went on behind the scenes, and it's usually up to the editors to make it work. It's easy to lose focus after hours spent in the editing room, going through the same shots over and over again. That's why mistakes sometimes slip through the cracks and end up making it into the final cut. Let's take a look at 10 worst movie mistakes that slip through editing. Before we reveal some of the biggest epic fails behind your favorite movie scenes, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Harry Potter! How did you do? I didn't put my name in that cup. I don't want... Number 10. Black Panther Sneakers Shuri's amazing inventions are one of the best parts of Black Panther, but one small mistake in the editing room made it seem like the young genius doesn't know what she's talking about. The child's younger sister was the one who designed his upgraded suit, but she also came up with a special pair of shoes called sneakers. Shuri picked up this name because they absorb sound and let the wearer walk around silently. It's a great idea because it allows Black Panther to sneak behind his enemies without being noticed, but it doesn't seem to work every time. Not because Shuri made a mistake, but because sound editors completely forgot about her invention. Sneakers make no sound inside Shuri's lab, but when her brother runs and leaps wearing them later in the movie, they are just as noisy as any other shoes. Hearing footsteps is the most natural thing in the world, and that's probably why the editor didn't remember to remove the sound. Number 9. Lord of the Rings Smoking Car Modern vehicles have a tendency to pop up at the worst of times during period dramas and fantasy pieces. That's exactly what happened during one of the scenes in The Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring. As we watch Frodo and Sam walking through a field, there's something in the distance that wouldn't be anywhere near the Shire. If you look up at the top right corner of the screen, you'll notice a car driving by. Many viewers spotted this error, and Peter Jackson revealed the car was digitally removed for the DVD release. Fans usually don't like it when their favorite movies make mistakes because it ruins the illusion, but they actually enjoyed this one. After the DVD hit the shelves, they were angry after seeing the car wasn't there anymore. They wanted to show it to their friends and prove they weren't just tripping while watching the movie in the theater, but it was gone. Number 8. Teen Wolf Exposed Extra Some mistakes are more iconic than the movies they were in, and that's certainly the case with one scene from Michael J. Fox's comedy Teen Wolf in 1985. After Scott Howard wins his last basketball game, everyone runs off the bleachers to celebrate his victory. One of the extras in the background, however, is too busy doing something else. According to the urban legend, the mysterious individual used this moment to expose himself in front of the cameras. Fans of the movie don't believe this is what really happened because the build and appearance of the person in question suggest it's actually a woman. Over three decades later, it's widely believed this extra noticed her fly was unzipped. She pulled her shirt down and tried to fix it and used her jacket to cover up when it didn't work. Editors probably should have noticed it, just like everyone else who has seen Teen Wolf at least once. But if they did their job, we wouldn't have one of the most legendary slip-ups in movie history. So it's probably for the the best. Number 7. The Incredibles Violet's Hair Pixar is the epitome of perfection in the world of animated movies, but it's not incapable of making mistakes. Each of their films has a few slip-ups, and Violet's Hair in The Incredibles is one of the most notable examples. If you watch really closely, you'll notice her hair switch sides several times and animators even admitted that this is not a coincidence. They've done it on purpose as an attempt to ease the animation process, since they knew that the moody teenager is bound to give him hell. Violet's long hair was apparently the most difficult part to animate, since they've never tried to do it before The Incredibles came along. The studio had to come up with a whole new technology to accomplish this task. 
animators created five different hairstyles for Violet and modified them to suit different circumstances and environmental conditions in the movie. Sounds like a hassle, but it was necessary in this case because hair was one of Violet's most important character traits. As the movie progressed and she gained more confidence, the young heroine slowly stopped hiding behind it. Number 6. Star Wars BB-8 Centena Star Wars fans paid no mind to the small mistakes in The Force Awakens because they spent years waiting for that movie to happen. Being highly anticipated doesn't make it flawless though, and one of the biggest slip-ups in this film is connected to everyone's favorite new droid, BB-8. During their first encounter, Rey notices that his antenna was bent and decides to help him out. She removed, straightened, and reinstalled the antenna, which was metallic at the time. However, during the next shot, it seems the color magically changed and it suddenly had a white coating. The shade of BB-8's antenna keeps changing throughout the film and no signs indicate there's a logical explanation behind this strange occurrence. It's probably just another movie mistake that happened because they used several droids and editors never noticed there's a small difference between them. Number 5. Gladiator it's impossible to find a period piece with zero mistakes, and even if it exists, it's certainly not Gladiator. Despite winning five Oscars, Ridley Scott's hit film is far from perfect and has more errors than anyone can count. Gladiator's got everything from licorice shots to modern sunglasses, but one of the biggest errors can't be blamed in the costume department. During a reenactment of the Battle of Carthage in the Colosseum, one of the chariots slides sideways and ends up flipping over. As the dust settles on the fallen chariot, we can see a gas canister hiding underneath it. This invention had nothing to do in ancient Rome since it took centuries for it to be invented. These kinds of scenes tend to be pretty difficult to shoot, so it's hard to say if the editor didn't notice the gas cylinder or if he just let it slide. After all, this inconsistency doesn't seem so hard to swallow when compared to some of the other mistakes the movie made. Number 4. Frozen – Missing Rope Frozen is one of Disney's biggest hits, but there's still a few things animators missed when putting it together. One of the most notable examples is the rope Anna and Kristoff were tied with. After facing Elsa's giant snow monster named Marshmallow, the two heroes escape his grasp when Anna makes the right call and cuts them loose. As they fall down the mountain, the two are still tied together, but that changes after they make a safe landing. The rope is suddenly gone, and Kristoff helps Anna get up after being stuck in the snow. It's it's highly unlikely that the rope magically untied itself since they weren't falling down for too long. Animators probably just didn't want to waste time showing the characters removing the rope and just skip that part altogether. Number 3. Harry Potter Magical Shirt Magical things happen in the Harry Potter universe all the time, so it's easy to dismiss some of the mistakes that are pretty obvious. One of the most notable ones involves a seemingly magical t-shirt Harry wore in The Order of the Phoenix. During his first night at Hogwarts, the teen wizard had a terrifying nightmare that takes place inside the Department of Mysteries. As he tosses and turns, we can clearly see he's wearing a light blue shirt with short sleeves. But it's nowhere to be found when Harry wakes up. It's suddenly replaced with a dark blue shirt with buttons. It's easy to pretend his t-shirt magically transformed in this scene. After all, it probably wouldn't be the weirdest thing to ever happen in one of the Harry Potter movies. However, it's obvious the editor used the wrong shot since Daniel Radcliffe wore the darker shirt during another nightmare that took place later in the movie. Number 2. Pirates of the Caribbean – Cowboy on the Deck the crew of Jack Sparrow's ship, the Black Pearl, is a collection of weird and shady characters, and as it turns out, some of them aren't even pirates. And no, we're not talking about Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan this time around. Those two fit right in when compared to one crew member who was caught on camera during Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. After Johnny Depp delivers the line, On deck, you scabrous dogs, we can catch an outcast in the left edge of the screen. One of the crew members is standing on the deck looking out to sea, but he doesn't really blend in with a bunch of greedy pirates. For starters, he's wearing a tan cowboy hat, white short sleeve shirt, and sunglasses. Not really a part of the usual pirate attire. But it's possible Jack's been a little short on staff recently, and he's decided even cowboys can come in handy. Number 1. Pulp Fiction Bullet Holes 
this cult favorite put Quentin Tarantino on the map and redefined cinema as we know it, but that doesn't make it perfect. Just like any other movie, Pulp Fiction made its fair share of mistakes, and one of them is discussed to this day. When Vincent and Jules go to Brett's apartment to get the briefcase, they're caught off guard when one of his associates tries to shoot them. Before the showdown takes place, bullet holes are clearly visible in the wall behind them. The scene probably had to be shot several times, so it's quite obvious how and why this mistake was made. Some of the fans, however, are suggesting Tarantino put the holes there on purpose. They believe the guy who tried to shoot the two hitmen was actually using a fake gun and he was firing blanks the whole time. It's true Tarantino likes to leave small hidden clues here and there, but this probably wasn't one of them. After all, the bullet holes were only there for one shot, not the whole time. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on the screen.